So we shot our Halloween episodes like 50 years before we actually put them on the page, you know, because that's how we roll. Yeah. That and literally downhills on account of us being great men. But <laughs> anyway, today, the day that we're filming this was actually Halloween, which means you're probably watching this like a month later or something. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it was it was chaos, uh, unbound, and this is in a town where Halloween's really not a thing. Yeah, it really isn't. Uh, I did, we did notice something. I think people just use Halloween as an excuse to wear their pajamas to work. Yeah, there was a proliferation of pe- girls, especially yeah. with pajamas. Like that's not a costume, no, dude. It's just pajamas. Even if it's a pajama of like, what's his name? Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. The monster thing. Okay, fine. It's got a hoodie, but that's a pajama. I could see it's used still. Yeah. Like, it's not the first time you've worn this. It clearly stinks. Yeah. Well, you know, it reeks. Yes. Not stinks. It's gone one level. But but the point is, it's not. An ex- it's either going to be pajamas or sexy versions of things that don't need sexy versions. Pick one. Yeah. And or, I don't know, maybe like actually try to get an outfit going. Not that we did. No. Nah. Because, you know, the options were Fat Pink Panther. <laughs> or, uh, you know, a fat guy dipped in Pepto-Bismol <laughs> to, you know, simulate a Fat Pink Panther. Pink, why Pink Panther? I don't know. It just seemed uh, uh, very adequate for yeah. us. Next year, Fat Pink Panther. Yeah. <laughs> Fat Pink Panther twin. But uh, uh, we, did, we did try to go get a haul and, uh, you know... Brave the crowds, yeah. and uh, we saw no interesting costumes, no. not even a hot one. Oh, just no, a bunch we, of pajamas. We did see one good one. Which one? The Wilfred. Oh yeah, you know what? You're right. That was good. I even complimented the guy. I forget that. Yeah. It was awesome. Because Wilfred. Because he was a freaking Walmart worker wearing a Wilfred. Suit. Yeah. The only downside to it was he was vaping. Oh yeah. That's the downside to it. Nice fat cloud guy. Yeah. But uh, other than that, yes, that was the one awesome costume. Yeah. Everybody else's costume reeked. Kids get away with it because they're kiddos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But everybody was like, dude, stop. Stop. Come on, man. Anyway, but we, we braved the crowds and actually got some stuff. So this is our music and movie haul. Uh, hit me with some Zach. Zach? Or should we start with the movies? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, I got my Zach right here. I only got one music. Oh, let's go with the movie. Here. All right. I got this Always Sunny. Always uh, Sunny. Season three. Season three. I have season one. I don't have season two, but you know, it was what three bucks? I think three bucks, so man. You can't beat good. no four bucks. Four bucks. You can't beat that. No. All of a sudden, in Philadelphia, quite possibly the funniest show to come out since you know, ever. Yeah, it's got Danny DeVito. If you like? The, if you haven't seen this, what the hell's wrong with yeah, you? You gotta see it. Uh, if you like Seinfeld, then this is like that on acid. So that's cool. Yeah. Next, I got a Jackass. Of acid. Jackass the movie. I've been on a quest to find them, and I finally found the first one. For some reason, the first one was really hard to find. You also noticed when you saw this that yes. there was a box set with everything in it that for was like annoying. 20 bucks. Yeah. But this is literally all you were missing, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't have the 3.5s. So, yeah, I should have gotten that set. <laughs> yep. And then here you got, let me unpack it for less glare action. You got uh, Insidious R1. Yeah, I finally found it. Which having trouble like i did when i was looking yeah. for it. like dude why is it nowhere it's used and it was 10 bucks so i guess it's kind of hard to find yeah i guess so while. anyway insidious the, the first I'm, and then uh i'm just missing the fourth one though yeah conjuring the second yes which i'm not sure if i have or not but i don't think i already have it so so you i mean it was five bucks yeah so it was five bucks it was a gamble and i'm pretty sure i don't have it i think yeah. i just have a you just one. knew you had one of them yeah but now you think you might have both i of think them. so yeah I'm, I'm not unsure and uh boost yeah, gumps look i'm not a goosebumps fan i think Carl stein sucks and I think... Sam, uh, he's just insulted a lot of people, dude. They're going to come at night. I mean, you can like R.L. Stein. I just don't like face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think his man thing is one of the worst things ever. Yeah, comic book run. But mm-hmm. uh, but uh, this movie was pretty fun. It was a little Halloween movie. Plus, my boy Jack Black plays him. Yeah. It's a fun little movie. I don't hate R.L. Stein. I like the show, the Goosebumps show. But I'll be honest with you, I never read the Goosebumps books or Fear Street or any of that stuff. Because, dude, come on, man. I was reading, like, Stephen King at, yeah. like, age six or seven. I'm not going to, you know, demote down to fucking 
RL. Carl Stein. I'm not hating. I did enjoy the show every now and then, corny as it was, but it was supposed to be corny. Yeah. But this was very fun. Right? It was yeah. pretty fun. It was shockingly fun. I was surprised at how fun it was. Now, this one was a... Uh, I was going to get brighter Chucky, but then uh, this came up, and it was free. Yeah. Because of some deal. I got, yeah, I got the other two. You get two used, you get the third used uh, for free. And this is uh, Casa de Mi Padre with Will Ferrell. <laughs> Which is a movie that like three people will get. Yeah, we, we made a video a review of this. I don't know where it is. But uh, this is a movie that is very specific to its audience. Yeah. Like Mexican Americans and Mexicans will get this. Fully. I'm not yeah. saying that you can't watch. If you're not Mexican or Mexican, you can't watch it and laugh of such stuff. But to fully understand why some of the shit in this is hilarious, is, yeah. you got to be Mexican or Mexican American and have come up in that environment. I don't know how this movie got made, to be honest. Yeah, with you. it's pretty. It's pretty surprising. It's weird. It's bizarre, and it hits all those weird marks that we grew up seeing in the shitty movies from the '70s and '80s. Mm. I, I'm still shocked that this thing ever got made. Yeah, I, I know why it wasn't a success. Yes, but I'm I'm shocked that it was made. But I'm glad that it was. And then this, uh, Mad Max Fury Road. God, this has got gotta have it in yeah. your collection. And I didn't. So. I, I like that you to to please Michael Keller. You didn't get the black and chrome version. Black and chrome because you would hate me. Yeah. Um, I would if it was available. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just the cheapest one. Put that in your pipe. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, Pet Cemetery, the the current uh, 2019 version, which I actually enjoyed, it, uh, unlike the original. Yeah. So uh, there you go. Better version of the book. This I was glad to find this uh, Blair Witch Project um, Blu-ray. Uh, this is uh, this is a movie that I that I didn't like at first, and I have grown to appreciate it. And in fact, uh, the first actual like movie centered video that i have planned for cult classics corner is going to be on why this little ditty needs to be appreciated um speaking of appreciating today we saw a loser oh, man. get in his truck with his boys yeah with his like homies keep in mind today in real halloween. time was halloween and he pumps out his system john carpenter's halloween theme with like, dude, this song. never happens in real nah, life. You're not. This is not a song that you bump to with your homies. Yeah, you don't bump to that. And then song they at roll all. down all the windows too. Just yeah, so everybody shit. in the parking lot can hear. Yeah. Like, dude, it's Halloween. You you think this is cool? It's not. This is a one day. It's not cool. Yeah. On the plus side, we did hear a lot of uh, Thriller today. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, I don't know when that became a Halloween song, but I like that it did. Probably around the time he started diddling. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's pretty scary. Giddler, they should have yeah. called it. Like that? Yeah. Uh this is the uh this is the version to get if you're if you're there's like a million versions of Halloween. This is the one to get because the transfer is H D. It's not, you know, fucking four K scan or anything like that. But this is the only transfer we're seeing by Dean Cundy, the cinematographer, a legendary man that he is. So uh, that's the one to get. Yeah, ass jacks. Anchor Bay. And yeah, anchor base. We're still around, pumping. So uh, then I found this man for a couple of bucks at a at a Goodwill. Nightmares and Dreamscapes, uh, you know, three DVD set. This little series from TNT, and one great series. So two bucks is the great price to pay for it. Yeah. And you know, gotta get my King collection on. Then uh, Jennifer's Body, which I used to have on DVD, and then uh, you know, just waited to find a super cheap one, which I did. So there's that. Uh, kind of weird, darkly comic uh, horror movie, and then this. I've been holding out on this, man. Hoping my 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 plan was to watch it today, but you know, it's been a long day, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. But that was my plan, yeah. and it may be dashed. <laughs> but I'm, I I let me just say it's midsummer, by the way. We can't yeah. read that from here, but uh. I sent this to to my friend, to, or on my voodoo, you know. Uh, I sent it to my friend so he could see it, and he wrote to me in the middle of the night yesterday, terrified, horrified, horrified yeah. at what he had just seen, and that just made me go, "Oh man!" Granted, it's McVolium, so yeah, true. But he has been seeing a lot of horror movies, and he's taken them surprisingly well. Mm -hmm. This is a 
McBollum, the guy that made our theme, is is not a horror movie guy. No. He's so, a ball guy, though. He is a ball guy. And then uh, it's Midsummer, and this next one, and and another one you're gonna see later. I got for, for cheap. They're virtually new releases, but uh, I got them for five bucks each. Uh, Dark Phoenix, the one that everybody loved. Uh, yeah, loved with a hammer. You know, a controversial film because it was supposed to be two movies and it was reduced into one. And of course, Disney's just like, all right, let's finish this thing and get it out of the way. Which Shit I suspect, out. by the way, was part of the reason people just hated on this. Shit I haven't it seen it. Buy some freaking fake reviews. Yeah. All I know is that I've liked the X-Men movies flawed as they are. Uh, so, you know, might as well just finish it off. And five bucks. I mean, fuck, right? I mean, Apocalypse won that bad. Dude, I like Apocalypse yeah, over right. <clears throat> over Days of Future Past. No, don't get me wrong, I like Days of Future yeah. Past, but I like Apocalypse more. But Sue me. I do think that yeah, I do think it was more enjoyable than Days of Future. I remember I was kind of disappointed with Days of Future Past. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but uh, good. you know, I'm not saying it's not good, but I, I have more fun with Apocalypse. And yes, I yeah. know it's not following the comic. When have they followed the comics? Never, yeah, never. The uh, uh, did Brian Singer direct that one? Yeah, Brian Singer directed Days of Future Past and uh, Apocalypse. Yeah, I think he did. Damn, the Diddlin. That's right, I think he did. Diddlin Singer. Yeah. Uh, Quentin Tarantino hasn't diddled yet, although apparently he punched one of, or not punched, but did something to one of his uh, uh, hair and makeup women on the set of uh, Jackie Brown. Damn. He like uh, hit on her and she was like, nah, I ain't having it. And he was like, all right, bitch. Uppercut? <laughs> something like that. Wait, anyway. like hit or like... No, nah, he didn't hit her, but... uh, Like hit on her. He hit on her. She re- she refused him. And then he was all like an ass to her. And apparently mm. he kicked her in the ass. Literally mm. kicked her in the ass. Like hard? Yeah, like hard. Kicked her in the ass. Damn, and homie. She called her husband, and who happened to be Richard Pryor's bodyguard. And, uh, you know... But then that guy's been saying a lot of weird shit. Whatever. I don't care. We're, it's we're Tarantino. Just... And unless he's actually diddled, I'm going to roll. He's got a weird penis, too. Hashtag weird penis. Uh, Inglorious Bastards, man. I, I used to have this and uh, lost it, so now it's back. Great movie. It's pretty cool. Descent, another great horror classic. Neil Marshall. Gotta get it. <sighs> found it. Please say. This motherfucking thing's expensive online, and I found a copy for two bucks in perfect condition. Eat it, Amazon. Oh, okay, I thought me. I was like, why? Yeah, not you. Yes, I was very happy to find this. Great movie, man. Uh, here's a movie you hate. Hocus Pocus. We do uh, have a Halloween review of classic. that up yeah. on uh, Half Dog. Half Dog Productions uh, review. Spoiler. Hating. Hating, man. It's great. <laughs> this is what I told you to wait for. Oh, damn it. Adam's Family 1 and 2. You know what? I need to get that, dude. Yeah. 10 bucks at Walmart. Yeah, I need I get to get it. that and that Aquaman because it's cheap now. Yeah. That's the way to get it. Cheap. Yeah. Aquaman, that is. Uh, I feel like we, we. I feel like you gotta watch it again. Yeah, I am gonna watch it again. It's not gonna be great, but. And then uh, Godzilla. The, the version we saw, like the colors were all a lot of wet. Yeah, Mind but... you, it's actually brighter. It's <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not the the quality, uh, picture wise of the version that bothered me. It was the the, the story yeah. wasn't great. And the I did wee- like that last part. Wee- oh man, yeah, that's. But anyway, that's another discussion yeah. for another day. Here's Godzilla King of I Monsters. Get that too. Uh, got it for five bucks. Yeah. So I mean, it's going for twenty five bucks right now. So that was a that was a win. Again, this person that I got them from, I suspect she's just stealing them oh, and reselling them. Yeah, that's the person I got them from. Yeah. And I, and she was selling a Batman the Animated Series set. Oh, for fucking ten bucks. Yeah. And I made the gross mistake of asking. She could have bamboozled me uh, out of a, another ten bucks, and I would have been glad to pay them. But she's like, oh, I don't have it anymore. Like, dude, a second ago you had it. Now yeah. because I asked you how much, you get pissed, and that kills me because that set's like seventy yeah, bucks. It's pretty expensive. So, fuck, whatever, that's man. A good, that's a good set. It wasn't meant to be. So uh, hit me with some uh, Zach. So I got, Morris. Uh, I got uh, Pink Floyd's Dark Pink and Moon. Dark, Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, Dark Side of the Moon classic. Uh, you know, if you want to see some uh, Wizard of Oz, I guess. Yeah. Never done it. Don't want to do it. Uh, I mean, uh, the CD's like way shorter in the movie. I don't understand how that even works. It works oddly enough. <laughs> um, I also got nope. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might <laughs> might look like the same thing, but this is the best of Richard Cheese in the Lounge Against mm-hmm. the Machine. Dick Cheese. This was a, a 
a gimmick band that just lounged version a bunch of shit. Most famously, they they were on the soundtrack for Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, they were with a Disturbed cover. That's way better than Disturbed. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, stuffy music critics hate this band, but I mean that's the gimmick, and it's kind of like Weird Al. You either like them or you don't. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, you got now. You gotta give your opinion on Weird Al. Weird Al, uh, I don't hate. But I'm not a fan. I would never buy a Weird Al album. I bought a Weird Al album once. Did you regret it? A little bit, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah I'm not. I don't hate. Don't get me wrong. I think he's a cool dude. Maybe you'd hang out with him. I'd hang out for sure. He's Just, awesome. You're not gonna bump to his tunes. But buy an album? Yeah. I'm not gonna go as far as buy an album ever. Yeah. Next. I get that. I get that. Uh, you got the very best. The very best. Yeah. Forget the sort of okay. Here you got a bucket hat, motherfucker. <laughs> Send dog and Cypress Hill. This was like two dollars, two ninety nine, I think. Yeah. So I just took a gamble. Uh, yeah, man. Now you gotta tell me what you think. You only got to hear a few tracks. Yeah. It was alright so far. Um, very unique style mm-hmm. of uh, hit, uh, rap. I was gonna say hip hop. That sounded like more like the hip, the hop, the hippity hip hop. So uh, look, if one good thing came out of Nostalgia Critics, the awful the wall review. Mm-hmm. Is it actually made me curious to revisit the wall? Uh, and I listened to the album and it was really good. And I don't understand how he didn't understand it. So, Even if uh, he did understand it, the product that he made is atrocious. His critique of the wall is yes. one of the worst things I've seen. And, uh, you know, we're not prone to jump on the wagon. Like, don't get me wrong, he made a piece of shit. Yeah, it's terrible. And everybody's like, it's bad. let's make a video about it. Yeah. But they're right. We we go against the grain quite a bit yeah. here, and I gotta say though, this, this time we right, gotta jump yeah. on that wagon because Fushi, that yeah. shit sucked. But this doesn't. Yeah. Pink Floyd's the Wall, it's classic, quite good. quite good. Not their best album, but shit, if that's not their best, you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, and then they're greater. Yeah. Next, Jay Leno. Yeah, yeah, we, I suck. I don't know what the reception for this was, but I really liked it. This is, this is uh, the Marshall uh, Marshall Mathers LP two, right? Yeah. So um, I, I was telling Ahab here that there's a song in this that uh, every time I hear it gives me tingles, Dang. spine tingles. Dude, it's good. Does it go down to your sack? No, unfortunately, it does not go to my massive sack. <laughs> Next, we got uh, Wu, the story of Wu, the Wu Tang Clan, a little compilation album. Uh, you know, got uh, basically all their. That's uh, good. That's good. Dig it. Flawless. Three cents, too, by uh, the way. Yeah, it was really cheap. So they that's... had a lot of cheap music today for some reason. Oddly enough, it's got one track that's censored. I think maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Maybe, maybe it's the radio edit. Yeah. I don't know, but the rest aren't. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, if you want a quick uh, rundown of their singles, and this is it, I guess, you know, uh, what'd you think? They're pretty cool. I like them. There you go, man. I like the raw. Knew it. And the ass. And you, God, we got it, man. And penis, in case you're wondering. So, uh, anyway. That too. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got a I got couple a couple more. of records. I haven't gotten any in a while. But I came back hard with Ice Cube. Yeah, you got to get that cube. That War and Peace. This is the War album. This is a good album. Hell, yeah. Classic, man. This is, like, after his, like, kind of, like, what, three, four-year break? Mm-hmm. And he came back, and he's really aggressive in this one. <laughs> yeah, if you thought Ice was angry before, he's pissed now. He's really pissed now. Got some classics in here. Well, they're all classics, really, but got some real good classics in here. My favorite, Fuck Dying, which does feature corn, but that's not mm-hmm. why I like it. You love corn. I'm like, not really big on corn, you know? Right. I don't hate, but I'm not big on it. Hate? Like, I like corn. I'm just not, you know... Yeah. Like them more than Weird Al, I guess. You like, you <laughs> I'd, like, I'd buy an album for damn sure. You but... like consuming corn, but you don't like it when it comes out. Oh, we were talking about the band? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. I'd rather eat uh, Elote. Yeah. Next. Okay, so look. Let's just start with a good one. Here you go. Credence. I, I, uh... got, I have this already, but my copy is like horribly destroyed. The, the What's the album? The sleeve. It's the first one, Credence. That's just what it's called? Yeah. Um, the Queen's Clearwater Revival? Yeah, it's the first album in my my copy. I got it from Amazon, and it was in terrible condition. And they claimed it was in great yes, condition. Yes, it was, like, good and freaking destroyed completely. So I found a replacement that was cheap. Oh, and it's brand new, too, huh? Yeah, basically. Um, oh, it's just rewrapped. 
But it looks new. It looks, yeah, it's in really good condition, so I got a replacement for it because, you know, it's Queens. Yeah. Um, and I finally freaking bit the ass bullet and got the one record that I was missing from them because it was cheap. Mardi Gras. But look, this bad puppy sucks my crotch off, dude. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, Rolling Stone called it John Fogarty's Revenge. Back in the day, because he basically let them do what they wanted and squirted out a turd. This is the album that ended the band. This and is the it, album where the band thought this guy that's been our our tour that does everything and, and does everything, we can do better than him. And then he let them. Yes. And they they Destroyed. sucked. It was bad. And you can tell by this cover where he's. Kind of looking at the guy that led that revolu revolution. Yeah. The guy that led the revolution here, what was his name? Stu. Stu. He's looking like he's directing something. Like, this is the vision for the album. Yeah. Meanwhile, Foggery over here is like... <laughs> sure, dude. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's laughing his balls off. But also angry. Yeah. Already, uh, one of the band members had left. This was just... This was just the end this was a shit show yeah and uh there's only three songs i believe that john fogarty sings and plays in and he sounds like he wants to die in them he probably did and yeah. knowing him he did so it's bad but but, uh, but your com it. collection yeah. is complete finally now. it's complete yeah so that's cool a little fog in your ass also want to want to mention that this is like in perfect condition whoever bought this was like whoa stinky it was a one and done yeah or maybe like a two tracks and done yeah so there you go man pretty good uh selections this month uh for you let us know what you think about these there's gonna be another haul coming with other stuff so uh, stay tuned for that and other junk that we do here you know what the role is in the meantime, hit like, share, subscribe, and those notification buttons. Hit that little bell, because if you don't, YouTube's like, eh, I'll just show you a video every now and then. Man. Serious, dude? Come on, man. Meanwhile, the Serbian film is still up somehow. Yeah, God forbid we should cuss, but they just leave Serbian film up like nothing. <laughs> what is that? Come on, man. Good movie, though. Yeah, anyway, uh, we're gone. Yep.